20 years ago, Brian Bonin made his mark in high school hockey, but his name is cemented in Minnesota hockey lore. In 1990, Bonin and his White Bear Lake teammates made it to the state tournament, but lost in the first round to Rosso, 5-1. It would be the only time the Bears would make it to the state tourney while he was there. There weren't huge expectations in White Bear that year that we'd win it, uh, which should teach everybody a lesson as well. Um, but I mean, I was just so happy to be there and be part of that. It's really a great memory because of that. Despite a shoulder injury his senior year, Bonin still managed to score 23 goals and dish out 35 assists on his way to being named Mr. Hockey. It's an award he credits to the others that were nominated. Johnson, now here comes Bonin, he's in, he centers it up and he scores! There's that line once again, headed by sophomore Brian Bonin. Those guys were pretty good friends. We had played a lot against each other on some teams in the summers and and whatnot uh, together. So, you know, to be up for the award, um, to win it, you know, it was one of those things of, yeah, I, I'd be great if I won this, but these guys are equally deserving. So what is he doing now? After winning the Hobie Baker Award in 1996, he toiled in the minors for a few years, eventually playing 12 regular season games in the NHL. Now, he's a father of three boys and an immunization specialist for a company here in the Twin Cities. Well, now I, uh, I work for a, a large pharmaceutical company. I'm actually in the vaccines division, so I, I'm an account manager uh, supporting the clinics, hospitals uh, here in Minnesota in regards to keeping our kids healthy uh, through immunizations.